الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم إذا أقيمت الصلاة فلا تأتوها وأنتم تمشون وأتوها وأنتم فلا تأتوها وأنتم تسعون وأتوها وعليكم السكينة فما أدركتم فصلوا وما فاتكم فأتموا إذا أقيمت الصلاة فلا تأتوها وأنتم تسعون When Salah is called يعني إذا إقامة Do not come to it while you are running or in a hurry Come to it when you are peaceful عليكم السكينة You are relaxed, you're not tired, you're not breathing, you're not busy, you know what you're doing, you know where you are. And then he said صلى الله عليه وسلم to confirm that فما أدركتم فصلوا Whatever you catch from it, pray it. وما فاتكم فأتموا And whatever you miss from it, make it up. So a lot of people when they come to the prayer, they come rushing and they enter the salah rushing and they cause disturbance and at the same time they don't have that khushu every act of the salah requires khushu and the best way to even do it the scholars derive from this hadith that you come to the salah with khushu you make the wudu with khushu imagine making the wudu how we come and just pour the water quickly and we come, that has no khushu. Khushu in wudu is when you take your time when you're doing the wudu, when you're reflecting on the act of the wudu, understanding that as the Prophet Wasallam, when you wash your hands, your sins would fall from between your fingers. And when you wash your mouth the same way, your face the same way. So in your mind, you know what you're doing, and you know the good deeds that you are gaining. So you're focusing on doing the wudu properly that makes you focus on the salah and have khushur in it. So he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is advising us, when you come, do that. Don't worry about catching the rak'ah because this is not, yeah, and this is against khushur. So you come to catch a rak'ah and you ruin the whole salah because you are missing the khushur in salah. Many of us, they just don't want to repeat or don't want, you know, it's like, oh my God, I'm going to do uh, sujood and qiyam and all of that and start all over and all I have to do is catch that subhanahu rabbi al -Azim, and then I don't have to pray to uh, recite the Fatiha or any other surah. I'm saving time. And a lot of people, unfortunately, look at the salah as a task. It's something that, yani, uh, not not enjoyable. They look at it. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam look at it as a source of comfort. Arihna biha ya bilad. Oh bilad, make us relax. Call for the salah. Let's pray and relax. And we look at it. We just want to get rid of it and just go. So khushu is very important in it. And what helps you in it when you make wudu, think about what you're doing. When you come to the Salah, come a little bit early and pray the Sunnah. When you stand in the prayer and you recite, make sure you recite good what you're reciting. If you're reading Quran, read it with the uh, Ahkam, with Tajweed. وَرَتِّ لِلْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to do that. Uh, when you're reciting, make sure you understand what it is. I'm not asking you to memorize or to understand the whole Quran, at least Surah Al-Fatiha, the short surah that you memorize, because if you are thinking about the meaning, you're, you understand how to recite, you're thinking about the meaning of it, then think of whom you're standing in front of, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Think of whom you are reading, or you're talking with whom, and you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Think of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Think of his greatness.
Think of his love, think of his mercy, think of his rewards, think, yani glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make that present in your mind while you are doing the salah. Empty your heart from anything in dunya. Don't think about your work, don't think about missing anything. The importance of khushu' made us, look what the Prophet said, إِذَا أُقِيمَتْ إِذَا حَضَرَ إِذَا حَضَرَ الْعِشَاءِ وَالْعَشَاءِ فَقَدِّمُوا الْعِشَاءِ I'm sorry, إِذَا حَضَرَ الْعَشَاءِ مَعَ الْعِشَاءِ فَقَدِّمُوا الْعَشَاءِ عَشَاءِ means supper. عِشَاءِ صلاة الْعِشَاءِ If both of them happen at the same time, يعني your wife or your food or what, present and the salah is about to pray and the food is there, eat, then pray. Doesn't mean eat until you fall, just like you break your fast in Ramadan. We take a couple of days and stuff like that and we go pray. What's the purpose of it? So your mind is not in the food. You broke your hunger, now you can focus a little bit. The Prophet allowed us to do that so we can have khushu in the salah and the same thing in any other aspects. You don't come to the prayer when you need to go to the restroom. Well, you're not going to have for sure. Your mind is not there. So the salah from the beginning to the end requires for sure. And as much as you gain in that for sure, this is the credit you get for the salah. When the Prophet وسلم, said, your salah, nine-tenth of it might be accepted, eighth of it, seventh of it, sixth of it, half of it, why, why is that? Why this portion? Because depending on the khushu, if you're not there from the beginning to the end, the salah will be wrapped and thrown in your face. You get zero credit for it. Because it's not the present to do the moves and up and down. It is to feel that you are really standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So avoid running to the salah. Take your time when you make the wudu and reflect and focus in the salah and understand what you're doing. Inshallah, you will get full credit for it, and Inshallah, you'll be from the winners. It is the most important act in your life, in all the commands. If the salah is good, everything goes. Inshallah, everything else will be good. First thing you'll be questioned about the day of judgment is salah. So you better get a good grade for the salah, Inshallah, so you can go to Jannah. khairan. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك السلام عليكم ورحمة الله